We meet Charleston Tucker, who is a CIA analyst, and she is the daily briefer for the president, Constance Payton. Um, and she, Constance is, of course, uh, a woman, and, uh, and Charleston is a woman. So we have these two women uh, in a very powerful position. Um, so we watch the work that they do to make sure that uh, the American homeland stays as safe as possible in this day and age. Uh, but they also have a personal relationship uh, that is very complex and, and layered. What we're seeing is that daily briefing book that the president gets every day, this is the truth, has the top 10 most pressing security concerns globally that will affect the American homeland. And so the analysts, we never hear about them. We've started to talk and see things about the operatives, but the analysts are the ones that have to sit and, and listen to chatter from around the world constantly. Chatter could be internet chatter. It could be anything that somebody saw or perceived, you know, that whole see something, say something, but think of it globally. So you're getting a lot, of, they're getting a lot of input over at Langley constantly. That's the CIA headquarters. And so the analyst's job is to, is to, is to uh, collect this, uh, think about it and figure out which, what thing is actually real and what is, uh, what's serious or not because, you know, their call on something could, could stop a major um, catastrophe at any moment. So it's high stakes. I play Constance Payton, I play the president. So I am number 45. And um, she is a woman who is very fit and up for the job. She's, um, she's come from the military. She was a person that saw combat during Desert Storm, during the first one, the first Gulf War. Uh, so she's experienced, and we find it very interesting. We have not had a military president since Eisenhower. And so that's something that we, we wanted to, to explore. And so Constance has, she's out of California. She was a state senator there. She um, was elected to the Senate. And uh, she's come, she ran a, a pretty good campaign, a great campaign. And uh, during, um, during the, the last months of the presidential campaign that she won, a big event has happened. And that propels her forward into, into her position. Charleston Tucker was going to be my daughter-in-law, and she was going to be the mother of my grandkids. She was uh, not just engaged, but she was fiercely in love with my son, Aaron. And my son, Aaron, uh, that we see in the pilot, He's so adorable, too. He, uh, he, he is killed in an attack. And so, um, as again, as the commander-in-chief and as her daily briefer, one of the top people at the CIA, Charleston, um, we have to uh, find, follow, follow protocol and find out who's responsible for this attack and bring them to justice. But as a mother and as a woman, uh, Charleston as a woman in love, uh, it opens up new levels of how we find this person and how intent we are on finding this person. It's not that anything will be solved every week. The episodes stand on their own, so they're satisfying that way, but the, the characters will keep unfolding as we go on, and the storylines will keep, the complexity of them will unfold, and the complication of other parts of it will become even more complex.